What is seeing? Item number, SCP-521-KO. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. A Foundation front company has purchased the real estate encompassing SCP-521-KO and issued strict prohibitions against civilian trespassing. A warning sign reading, no entry, caution, slippery when wet, has been placed in front of SCP-521-KO and must be maintained. A security guard is to be posted in a small sentry post at the entrance of SCP-521-KO. In the event that a civilian enters and becomes trapped within SCP-521-KO, the lighthouse at Site 64K is to project an intense beam of light toward the sea. Rescued civilians shall be interrogated and released following treatment with Class C amnestics. Description: SCP-521-KO is a jetty pointing seaward located in Mujin City, South Jolla Province, South Korea. It was constructed in 1970 as a piece of landscaping art, and its wave-breaking performance is nominal. The surface of SCP-521-KO is usually wet, and slippery enough that walking on SCP-521-KO is often difficult. The anomalous effect of SCP-521-KO will manifest in mornings and evenings during conditions of heavy fog. If an individual climbs onto SCP-521-KO and walks seaward during rising fog, heavy enough to obscure anything beyond their immediate vicinity, they will be unable to reach the outer end of SCP-521-KO, regardless of the distance traveled. Additionally, after traveling about 10 meters seaward, they become unable to reach the opposite end of SCP-521-KO, i.e., they can no longer return to Mugen. During high visibility, with no fog, this effect does not manifest. If the subject accesses SCP-521-KO from the sea, using a ship or helicopter, they can disembark onto SCP-521-KO's outer end, even during foggy conditions. However, if they walk more than 10 meters landward, they also become unable to return to the outer end. If a strong source of light emits a beam from any point towards SCP-521-KO while a subject is trapped on it, they become able to reach the side from where the light originates. Consequently, if the fog lifts enough to improve visibility in either direction, the anomalous effect is also nullified. Thus, subjects trapped on SCP-521-KO only have to wait for the fog to clear to be able to return. However, for as long as the subject keeps walking on SCP-521-KO, the fog will not clear. In a recent test, an individual on SCP-521-KO claimed that she had been walking for an entire day, whereas outside of SCP-521-KO, only three hours passed. On SCP-521-KO's outer end is a brass plaque whose contents are clearly legible from the seaward side. Seeing is more than a photon's collision on your retina. When what you see is different, the world will be different. Are we cool yet? <laughs>